Now I want to give you uh, a hint in case you had difficulty with the original instructions. Remember that our first data point was 100 yards, 3.2 cycles per minute, this data point, and we labeled that on our graph and projected down here we got 100 yards. Here, 3.2 here. Okay, what about our second data point? Well, we want to do the same thing with that data point, but we can't just pick any point on the graph. We could pick any point on the graph here, uh, this being uh, p equals negative 2, our factor 0.62, p equals negative 2 thirds power function graph, but uh, now that we've chosen this point, we're stuck with this scale on the f-axis. So we can, um, if we wish, we can rescale the f-axis. Here's half of 3.2, which is 1.6. Here's half of that, which is 0.8. Half of that is 0.4. And we can put a couple more marks here and some more marks up here. Here would be 2.4. Leave this mark and this mark unlabeled and this one because it would get too crowded. Now, where are we going to put this data point? It should be obvious to you now, but let's just be sure we understand. Okay, can I just pick any point? Can I put it here? Well, I can't put it here. Why not? Because here corresponds to a frequency that's more than 3.2 cycles per second. Can I put it here? Well, let's see, that seems to correspond to a frequency of about 1.4 cycles per second. It doesn't correspond to 2.3 cycles per minute. And I'm saying cycles per second, I mean cycles per minute. Okay, 2.4 cycles per minute, though, is pretty close to 2.3, which means the 2.3 would go right about here, and you can uh, reason that out easily enough. So I've got this point on the graph, and this corresponds to what? 0 0.1 mile, 2.3. Well, this allows me now to relabel the L axis in terms of miles. Okay, of course, we'd go in probably units of tenths of a mile, maybe break that in half to go to five hundredths of a mile. Uh, and then we're going to have two labelings of the graph and we should be able to look at that, those two labelings and determine how many yards there are in a mile. Okay, and you're still left with the idea of finding A for the first data point, then for the second, uh, and comparing and drawing conclusions. <coughs> I'm not going to give you a whole lot of hints on that. That's something we've done. Um, you know, simply plug uh, your data into this form and you can get A. So you got a data point here, you got a data point here, you should easily be able to solve for A. Uh, we've done exercises on that and um, I'm not going to address that any further.